The Giver Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting your pointer, middle, and ring nails black and your thumb and pinky nails white. On your pointer middle pink or er, pointer middle and ring, we're going to be sponging white in the middle of our nails. So you're going to want to create like a band across the middle nail. So just up by your cuticle and the tip is going to be left black. And then starting at the edge towards your middle nail, work out in almost a circle on both your um, pointer and ring. So now I'm taking teal polish and I'm going to be sponging on the edge of the white. It's almost going to kind of blend it into the black. Watering down some acrylic paint, I'm going to brighten the area in the center and I'm going to fan out the paint in almost like a starburst pattern. And then add a line coming out from the middle across your pointer and your pinky nails. And then add just a little dot off on the far edges. So on our pointer nail, we're going to write G-I. So we're going to start the, we're going to start the word giver on our pointer nail and then we're going to paint it across the other two. So then on our middle we're going to be painting the V and so paint that pretty big because even on the logo if you look at it the V is bigger than the other letters. And then write the above it. So start with the H in the center and write the T to one side and the E to the other. That way you know it's going to be in the middle. And then we're going to finish Giver on our ring by writing ER. On our thumbnail with gray paint, we're going to be painting half of an apple. So we're going to be painting the upper right corner or upper left corner. I said right because I'm looking at it upside down in the video. But anyways, so just paint that and it's going to be a diagonal and then add with still using gray, we're going to be adding the stem and then paint half a leaf. So just pretend you have an imaginary line going on there. Or if you wanted to, you could mark or mask off your nail with some um, masking tape or scotch tape. So then fill in the other portion of the apple with red. And I'm not going to worry about blending in this stage because I'm going to show you two ways of blending the paint. So for this one, you're just going to want to add the first coat and not worry about blending it at all. Just paint up to the line. And then fill in the other half of the leaf with green. So now in this, I'm going to be watering down red and then just sort of washing that over the line and that's going to blend it in. So now with watered down black, I'm going to start and I'm going to shade first the top of the apple. So I'm going to go around the stem and then I'm just going to add right below the stem. And you're also going to want to shade the apple. So just darken half of it. I mean the leaf, I'm sorry, darken half the leaf. And then down, darken half of the apple. It's about half, I guess. But just blend that water down black up so that there's not a harsh line, but it just sort of gradually gets darker towards the bottom. And then with really dark, really thickly watered down paint. So don't water down too much, but add a shadow from where the apple is sitting. And now I'm going to be highlighting with watered down white. And when you water your water down your white, you're going to want to have a lot more white to water versus when you're watering down black. The ratio is different. So you can play with it and if it needs to be adjusted, you know, adjust it. So now on my pinky, I'm going to do sort of an abstract apple. And this will, I'll show you the other way of blending the two colors together. So fill in the upper section of your nail with gray and the lower with red. And when you're doing this, don't let the gray dry. Just go right onto it and then paint over the line and then keep adding more gray and more red and just sort of going over the top of each other until it has a nice blended look. This is almost like, not really, but almost like doing one stroke. You just keep adding the paint layers. So then once that's dried, you're going to want to shade the bottom of your nail with black. This is very similar to what we did with the apple and then add that line and then just blend it out. And now I'm going to highlight with white. So like I said, very similar to what you did on your thumb.
and then with gray I'm just going to add a little line for the stem and then define that with black and of course add a layer of top coat and if you're kind of a mess like me after I do all that sponging on these three nails go through and clean that up with a cotton bud dipped in polish remover Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my design. Please share your recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I always love to see them and they're beautiful. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.